But the name of Allah referred to a deity, a pagan deity, who was referred to as the moon god, who was referred to as the moon god, the moon god, the moon god, the moon god, the moon god. The moon god. Yeah, I know a lot of Muslims watching this right now are going, ah, this moon god thing again. What is it with these people? وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ اللَّيْلُ وَالنَّهَارُ وَالشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرُ لَا تَسْجُدُوا لِلشَّمْسِ وَلَا لِلْقَمَرِ وَاسْجُدُوا لِلَّهِ الَّذِي خَلَقَهُنَّ إِن كُنْتُمْ إِيَّاهُ تَعْبُدُونَ Sometimes people think that the crescent and star are the symbol of the Islamic religion. And they have become so in many Muslim societies. You'll see them on top of minarets, domes, tombs, etc. But in fact, the crescent is not the defining symbol of Islam in the way that the cross is for Christianity. Um, the crescent, in fact, was not used as a symbol for the religion until the 15th century. And got some good stuff here today. I want to look at this. Uh, yeah. This one asks, why is it the Muslims claim that they only worship God? The God, the same God of Abraham and the same God of Jesus. Uh, peace be upon them. And yet, at the same time, they're actually worshiping a moon God in a black box in the desert. There was someone recently, and I'm not even going to mention his name, okay? But he wrote a book, The Moon God Called Allah. It is so full of fabrication and things taken out of context, misquoting even from archaeological finds and putting time dates at the wrong time, trying to say that Muslims worship the moon. 
This is such a ridiculous thing, and the person himself is ridiculous. I have tried to speak with them, and they will not return our emails or their phone calls anymore because all we ask them to do is be on the show with us and let's talk about it. You'll have a chance to say whatever you want. We won't even edit it. You can say what you like. It wouldn't show up. So if it's not the same God, then why? All over the entire earth, everywhere I go, I find this exact same word being used in the Bible of the Christians. From the verse in the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 16. And you know it very well. For God so loved the world. That's how it begins. And if you look in the Arabic language, the example that they gave in that Bible, it says Allah. Allah. That's what it says. For Allah so loved the world. Page one of the book of Genesis, of the very beginning of the Quran, page one has 17 verses. <clears throat> and there's the word Allah. Alif, Lam, Lam, Ha. 17 times. So just as it's the God for the children of Israel in Arabic language. And it's the God for the Arabs who are Christians. It's also the same God for the Muslims. The word is Allah. Allah. <laughs> هو الرحمن الرحيم هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله عما يشركون هو الله الخالق البارئ المصور له الأسماء الحسنى يسبح له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم